guys, welcome back to Cole's Collectibles. Today, this is my second video posted. Uh, today we're going to go over my 1986 Yamaha Moto 4. She's definitely a classic. Um, has a 225, I think. High low transmission with reverse. Still has a Moto 4 badges on both sides. Um, there's actually not a single crack in the plastic. The only thing remotely called a crack would be this. So, obviously, that's very good. Um, I guess it was an 86. All stickers are missing except for this one back here, unless it's somebody just slapped on. This is awesome Moto 4 fender, or mud flaps. Uh, light, all lights on it still work, including this light right here. It has one of the biggest glove boxes I've ever seen on any four wheeler. Oh, I don't okay, I know. Anyway, um, we did a little bit of stuff to it. The air box was completely filled up with rat's nests, and it was disgusting. But, um, we cleaned that out, got a new air filter stuff for it. These bars have been repainted who knows how many times. Has a little outlet for a spotlight, I guess if you're hunting or something. Um, has the famous Moto 4 ripped up duct tape seat. This is, uh, I've seen red and yellow ones, but this is just a common blue one. Tires were pretty much brand new whenever we got it. Has those awesome 80s gold wheels on them. Like a lot of four-wheelers did. Um, it's pretty good for towing. Uh, it has dual-range transmission, which I really like. Uh, let's see under here. Right, hold on. The seat's pretty high. There we go. It's weird sometimes. Um, we have all this fluid filmed, protected against rust. Um, they put the battery box in the weirdest place, under the fender there. I don't know if you can see it very well or not. Um, is this, if I'd like to know, is this chrome bar right here factory or not? Please tell me in the comments below, if possible. Serial number in the frames is long gone. Uh, not a whole lot to say about it. it. Has a speedometer and a trip odometer. Uh, neutral and reverse lights aren't smashed out and they both work. Runs pretty well once you get it running. Uh, what else was I gonna say? There's no manual or anything, which stinks because I like having manuals for stuff. Uh, let's just see if she'll fire. The battery was dead last time and it was acting a little bit funny, but I guess that's how these things go. I'll see if he even starts. Whew. Yep, battery's dead. Sorry. Oh well, it's a good start. Not so good to keep it running, but it gets the job done. Has the knobbiest tires I've ever seen on older four-wheelers, and they tear up the yard every time they go around. Uh, it's by far probably one of my favorite, most favorite four-wheelers. The only way I can see is really much better is, is if it had stickers and a manual. And, uh, it's obviously two-wheel drive, has those balloon tires on it, which are actually, from what my dad told me, too big than the factory ones. These were, as I like to think of it, the farm four-wheeler. Uh, lots of people around here have had them, apparently. Um, like I said, this plastic's good all around. Um, I don't have a whole lot to say about it. It's a very good four-wheeler. However, in fact, the battery's dead right now. Which I, can jump. Yeah, I guess I can't jump, but oh well. Um, just a short little thing I wanted to show you. Because I, I hope you guys like these videos. Um, all right, I, I try and put some good work into them, and hopefully it'll get better as we go along. Um, 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. If it was, if it, if it was, if it, cause so right now I'd have a lot more to say, but I guess it's just how it goes sometimes. So yep, there's my 1986 Yamaha 04. Uh, oh, I remember what I was gonna say. Um, in our way, <laughs> this could only get better was so if it was four-wheel drive, which they just have a uh, variant called the Big Bear. That was a four-wheel drive motor four. He even had the motor four mud flaps in the back. Um, so yeah. Pl uh, please stay up. Oh, we'll keep you updated on stuff. Uh, I might post, uh, more of my collectibles videos tomorrow, since this channel's called the Coolest Collectibles. Uh, so yeah. See you guys, hope you liked it.